today I stand before you for raising a matter of serious concern. According to a recent information shared by our external affairs minister in other house, a staggering 403 Indian students have lost their lives in foreign countries since 2018. Sir, this is not a number. It represents families devastated, dreams shattered, and futures extinguished. As per the information provided by the ministry, minister, Canada topped the list with the 91 incidents, followed by the United Kingdom with the 48 cases. In the United States alone, four Indian or Indian origin students lost their lives in the month of January this year. This number demands our immediate attention and collective efforts to ensure the safety of Indian students, those who are studying abroad. We must ask whether some of these cases, in fact, hate crimes is there. I urge the government to conduct thorough investigation into each case to determine if hate crimes are a contributing factor. It is essential to address the root causes of this rise in violence, fostering diplomatic ties with to promote tolerance, inclusivity, and the protection of Indian students. We cannot ignore the pain of the families sir, who have lost their loved ones. As a nation, we have a responsibility to protect our students, to give them the opportunity to learn and grow in a secure environment. The government must engage in robust diplomatic efforts with the countries where our students are studying. Collaborative initiatives are crucial to establish and reinforce safety protocols. There is an urgent need for the establishment of a comprehensive records system to accurate, accurately track and report incidents involving Indian students overseas. A fast track grievance mechanism is essential for the swift redressal of concerns raised by students and their families. It is a time for us to come together as a nation, regardless of political affiliations, and address these pressing issues. Let us put aside our differences, sir, and work towards a common goal, the safety and well-being of our students. They are the future of our country, and their dreams should not be cut short due to avoidable tragedies. I urge the government to take immediate and decisive steps that will ensure that every Indian students are safe in their study period. Thank you, sir.